everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Eternal Evolution. For today's video, I'm bringing you another featured run for Twilight Lands. This gets a lot of people stumped, but it's actually quite simple. Let's talk about those pesky birds. So here we are, these lovely birds, the one that says create efficient lineups. Now this is a tricky one, is it says the middle row takes extra damage. So you have to make sure whatever you put in the middle row can handle a big hit. It's the last place you want to put your nukers. So there's a few strategies here. Using Hagridon with two healers, that sort of bond with Leo is very good. One of the things you can do early on is actually just go ahead and put in a couple fodder that are vanguard just to complete this special bond and enable Leo. So it's sort of like Leo is soloing the whole thing, but taking advantage of the vanguard boost that you get um, from using Hagridon, Pain Rune, and Flashpoint. But let's go ahead and actually show that. I tried a few different strategies using what I just showed, using two healers. I'm going to quick go in here, and then I tried using res just to boost my surrounding instead of two healers. But I feel like when it came down to it at the higher levels, I just had a really hard time getting Leo to solo it. So this strategy works really well early on, but I don't know that it works end game. I had too much of a hard time keeping Leo alive on his own. He just took a lot of damage and it was really hard um, to keep the birds distracted. But the best thing to do here is to keep the birds distracted. But you can see Leo is just boom hitting. He's procking his immunity way too early and I really found it better to have multiple healers involved to prevent that from happening. And I think at the end of the day, it was nice to try the strategy here for vanguards, but in order to keep Leo alive at the higher levels like this one, this is like the end at last chapter, I believe, uh, or might be chapter 14 or 15, I'm actually not sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just was not working. So this ended up being a little bit of a more successful combination. So I started to bring in, instead of just trying to make Leo do everything and boost him, I kind of brought in more of a full team. But then we have a variety here. So this is this one is a failure still. Like I said, I'm going to show a few failures and then show you what ended up working best. But for me, it just seemed like in these higher stages, Leo is just not quite enough. Um, I mean, I personally changed mine to be more tanky. I had a attack percentage helmet on him, but I had to change it to HP just to keep him alive, it felt like, and not proc immunity so quickly. So I started to experiment here, still having two healers, but adding a little extra damage from Pregor. So the best thing to do is use Leo to attack the birds right away and try to draw them away from other people. Where you're going to fail most is if the birds start attacking your other people. But it can be kind of hard. See, look at that bird is now attacking Rez. That's where this typically seems to fail is when Leo doesn't draw them away. So I need a balance of using Leo to draw the birds away from other people. And also like a little bit of damage or at least a boost like with Rez, <laughs> to help Leo do more damage more often. I feel like the time can be an issue too. If you take too long for a battle, you lose because you ran out of time and then you lose your entire team. So I was still experimenting here with some different comps. But at the end of the day, the efficient lineups, Leo, it's another place that Leo really is king but I feel like I needed a little bit more than Leo for this higher level. So now we actually have a different form of healing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and manual everything here. Try to use Leo to draw them away. But like Sorvali kind of comes pretty far forward. Rez is also a little bit hard to have in the front because he freaking likes to just 
run around. I don't know. Rez has a mind of his own. Sometimes he ends up in really strange places and it distracts the birds away from Leo. <laughs> so that can be a little bit of something to consider and think about with doing this run as well. Rez, he's helpful, but you got to be careful because he just likes to run around the board. I swear to God. And yeah, he got a little too close. Sorvali was a little too close. I wasn't doing enough to keep the birds to the back, but it's super hard to to distract them. I feel like you really got to make sure you're aiming. Like now is good. If I could just could have just kept those guys up there with Leo, perfect. But we really do need that extra healing or some sort of support. You could see like it feels like it's going all right, and Leo is doing okay damage. Pregor's back there doing extra damage as well, which is actually helping a lot. She's doing like half his damage and that's helping this run go by faster. But the fact that I already lost Sorvali was hurting my heals and Leo did end up dying. He just procced immunity too fast for me. I know that this is something that can probably still be done with only Leo as the damage dealer, like I mentioned. The, the bomb that I did for the earlier stages, just using the Hagridon, and two fodder can certainly be possible here. I think it just takes a little bit too much RNG that I wanted to deal with. And I wanted to find something that was just not so scary. So again, I wanted to try that run again. It felt pretty good. I, I, at that end there, you could see how well I actually had everybody. So maybe if uh, Sorvali didn't die, that would have been some extra healing. But I think her deer are actually distracting in the end. I think they're kind of pulling the birds away from Leo instead of... And then they're pulling the birds toward the other heroes where the whole point is to try to use Leo to draw them away. And then, yeah, I can have someone else like Pregor doing some AoE damage from the back that's just helping to get their health down even faster. But you could see here... Those deer are pulling the birds close, which just made Sorvali die. That one bird there down at the bottom, it keeps turning around and attacking Sorvali or turning around and attacking Rez. So I think I had to realize that just wasn't the best combo because the deer were distracting. But again, I did want to show that in this video. I wanted to show my practices and my failures because that's what we learned from as well. And you could see why Sorvali doesn't necessarily work that great as another he additional healer for this team, unfortunately. Even though it's kind of nice to have the damage from the deer, just adding a little bit. See, she did 6 million damage before she died. It helps. It really does. But the fact that she drew them away made this pretty risky. Now, this one looks like it's one that could pot potentially finish and be okay but I also have to decide, do I really want Sorvali to die? And then boom, nope. Leo had already procced immunity, so that was too scary. A little bit too risky. So I think it's time to take out Sorvali. She, the, the deer were a hindrance. They were not helping. Let's bring in another healer instead of, of Sorvali. Boda is amazing. She works really great with both assassins and vanguard. She kind of groups people together. Which for someone like Leo, that's perfect. So maybe she could actually help Leo stay well contained. Actually, I think I think we can leave maybe leave Boda on auto and just let her heal. All right, yeah, let's go ahead. I'm gonna let Res be on auto just for sake of just one less thing to worry about. Honestly, I find this one pretty stressful because it's like. Constant focus on making sure Leo has the birds distracted. So if, I, if Rez just is resetting Leo as much as possible, I'm going to just let that kind of go if I can. So there's a bird down low again. That damn bird at the bottom is really hard to keep distracted by Leo. So, okay, he's turned around now. But it's super hard to keep him there. He seems to like to turn around and just start attacking people. <laughs> But this seems pretty solid overall. It's just timing with the heals, is, which is something you can control. So manualing Bodo probably would have been smarter just to make sure I'm timing my heals exactly when we need them for Leo. Because we don't want Leo to get down to that almost dead and proc his immunity super early because then he's just going to die. 
And if you die super last minute when you're finishing up a battle, that can mean bye-bye Leo for the rest of your Twilight run. So we don't want that. But all right, here I am trying to use Leo to draw those birds away. But I also am trying to make sure I hit them every single time. It's like a maybe I should have tried less to hit worried about hitting them every single time just for the point of pulling away. But it seems like sometimes if you don't hit all the birds, like that bottom bird, if you don't actually hit it, he'll start wandering away because he's not engaging in battle with you. I've noticed that as well. So trying to hit all three of them was kind of key. But you can see this is a very solid team. This team is probably a successful one to just overall suggest. Rez just boosting Leo. Leo just needs to go as much as possible. So I think my Leo is like in a little bit of a mix. He's probably still in attack percentage glove, HP percentage helmet, and damage reduction boot. Poor Leo. But I really wanted more attack on him. It makes the damage, it feels like the battles are a lot faster with more attack. But this is really good battle overall. But we did lose Rez. But to be honest, I think here, once I lost Rez, I didn't care. Because I'm not using Rez in any other battles. The, I think this was, uh, what, this was one of the later stages. And I knew the only thing I really needed Rez for in everything that I do in Twilight is these damn birds with Leo. This was the strategy I had used before and it worked pretty well. So allowing Rez to die was fine. And there we have it. But yeah, that ended up working pretty well. It just took a little bit of practice to figure out which team would be best. Use Leo to distract the birds, pull them away from the rest of your people, and you're good to go. Just be very careful about him dying and procking immunity.